Okay, I'm going to move forward with this 6.4.4 route summarization, VLSM, and classless interdomain routing uh, packet tracer. So I'm going to move this over here to the side. We're going to, we'll use that in a minute. We found one summary route so far. We have one summary route now. All right, and what I'll do is I'll just say summary routes. And this is our first summary route that we found. It was to these two networks right here, right? So we found that summary route that'll reach these two networks right here. And now it's time to add the next piece. So down here with R2, what we're going to do is I'll go to switches here, and I'm going to grab two 2960 switches here. So I'll say this 2960 switch and another 2960 switch. And we're going to connect them to fast Ethernet interfaces, so I will need straight through cables. I'll just go to the first port. And once again, second fast Ethernet and the first port of this switch. Okay, And these are going to be two more networks that we're going to create subnets for and then we're going to have a summary route to reach both networks. So let me label out the networks. This network, the top one right here, will be 173.16.68.0 slash 24, right? And slash 24 is normally a classful subnet mask, but that's for a class C address, and this is a class B address, so this is definitely classless, right? And, and then we'll do another one here for this network down here. This one will be 173.16.68.0. Slash 24. So there are our two networks. And what I'll do is I'll just put this here and this one here. And we'll call this, for this switch, we'll call this LAN 1. And this switch will say, I'm going to name it LAN 2. And then this will be. LAN 3, and this will be LAN 4, just to make things easier. All right. For testing out our summary routes, we're going to need some end devices. So we'll quickly add some PCs here. And we will quickly cable them up. Okay, and we'll put them on these LANs so that we can test in the future. So we'll go to Okay, so the first usable address in the network will go to the router to the gateway. Second usable will go to this PC. All right, we'll follow that same methodology. And then for this one, for the 69 network, we'll do the same thing. All right, so we have our two hosts set up. Now we have to configure the router's fast Ethernet ports, fast Ethernet 00 and 01. So we'll do that very quickly.
Okay, and now we have both interfaces configured, and so now the switch is coming up, and so we have 173.16.68.1 on this router interface, and on this router interface we have 173.16.69.1, and now what we can do is we can create a um, summary route for these for this these two networks so that this router over here only has to put one route in its routing table versus two routes in its routing table so now we have to figure out the summary route for these two networks okay to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the binary here to find my summary route for these two networks so I've got 173 here, I've got 16 here, so these two octets are good. So I just need to adjust these. We need 68 and 69. So I'll go to this, and right there's the 64 bit right there, right? So I'll go over and we'll add another 4 bit here. So that's 68. And this one needs to be 69 now. So we'll just change that to a 1 that goes to a 0 and then that goes to a 1 and so now in binary I've got 173.16.68 and 173.16.69 alright and so to find the, um, the summary route what I need to do is find the last common bit alright and so if we look here common bits they all have the same bits right the two routes have the same bits all the way up until the one bit where it changes right here right and if we count from left to right that's 8 bits 16 bits and this is 23 bits is the last common bit these two zeros here so the summary route will be for this network will be a slash 23 alright so now it's going to be a slash 23 and the um, IP address for it if we go up to that we could see that it's 64 plus a 4 bit so 68 is the common IP address for both routes here right the common number and so it'll be 173.16.68.0 slash 23 and that's going to be our summary route for these two networks and what we can do is we can put that summary route right here in this router and that's what we'll do and then we'll see if we can uh, ping across the network All right so I'll just open up this router really quickly hit enter enable conf t or configure terminal and we'll do IP route I have already forgotten what it is here okay IP route to 173.16.68.0 right but we have to put in the subnet mask which is going to be slash 23 which is going to be 255.255.254 right dot zero and we can use the next hop IP address or we can use the serial interface to go out of this time let's use the next IP, next top IP address. So the next top IP address would be 173.16.71 173.16.71 and dot and I believe that this interface is not the 5 interface, not 5. Five's over here 6. So it would be 6. dot 6. And hit enter control C and then we'll do a copy run start to save and now we have a summary route for these two networks in in our um, configuration if we look at the configuration show running config you can see that there is our summary route in our running configuration file to the 68.0 network with this subnet mask this is the next top router that we're going to go to so there's your static route if we look at our routing table show IP route you can see that we have a static route it has an 
administrative distance of 1 because it's a static route. Connected routes have administrative distance of 0 via this next top interface, right? So we should be able to ping from these hosts across to these hosts. So well, let's ping from here to here and see if that works. 69.2. 173.16.69.2 ping 173.16.69.2 and there's the reply. If we were to do it again you can see now we get all replies. So it worked.